Freaks Outdoor Adventures. Wanted to do a knife review because I can't let Do It Right outdo me. Now, Do It Right, he's another one of our Alaskan conglomerate gun channels. There's only like four of us that hang out. But uh, anyways, um, there's not too many gun channels in Alaska, so we stick together. Do It Right, he's, he's on this knife kick now. He just did some reviews of some pretty sweet K-Bar knives. But uh, I can't let him outdo Chook, so I'm reviewing my K-Bar Warthog. Now, this is the new Warthog Heavy Duty, and I want to tell you the story about the original K-Bar Warthog I had. I think it was just called the K-Bar Warthog. I bought it in 2002. Here's the picture of it. See how it broke? Anyways, that sheath it had was way better than this crummy kind of nylon leather sheath that they have. I um, mean, it was an actual Kydex sheath, um, but it, it was just awesome. And I, I saw it at a uh, uh, some whack job survivalist store in Bremerton, Washington in 2002, and I just had to have it. And it was expensive. It was way more than what they cost nowadays. I, I paid over $100 for that thing. I, it was between 90 and like $150. Um, but anyways, what a knife. It lasted me 11 years. I hacked branches. Um, and this is what broke it. I was hacking through raw animals, moose and caribou. Um, several caribou. I, uh, instead of carrying a saw or a bone saw, I just carried the warthog and it was easier and faster for me just to, it was, it was uh, pretty ugly. I mean, I, I didn't get a nice smooth line, but I would chop th the ribs off my caribou when I was field dressing it out in the mountains. Um, I would hack through the sternum, I would hack through hip bones, and I would hack the head off a lot of times. And I did that with several caribou. Um, and I hadn't done, I hadn't killed a bear yet. And then I, I, I did it with a moose. Now I have never gotten a moose before, but um, uh, one of my cousins shot a moose for my great aunt way up north in a village. And I was up there just in hunting paradise. And um, I had my little pack on and I pulled out my K-Bar warthog and just started hacking moose bones apart, you know, cause you gotta, when you do the quarters, you, you saw off the hoof. So I was hacking through each hoof um, and that was pretty cool. People were like, whoa, what, what did that thing? But anyways, um, yeah, that thing was tough. It hacked through moose and caribou bones. And finally, it, uh, on a caribou, I was hacking through bones and that blade chipped. And that's how you got that chipped blade. So what did I do? I ordered another one. But this K-Bar was totally different. This K-Bar was not made in the USA. It was made in Taiwan. It didn't have the hand guard, and it didn't have that butt guard, that, that butt cap. Um, so I was kind of uh, disappointed. I, I still like it. I, I like this curve to the handle because it does give you some uh, a little bit grip for that finger. Um, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't have the hand guard. You really stab something, it, your hand is going to slide and you're going to cut your fingers. But one thing I do like is this thumb, thumb deal for skinning. Uh, this little thumb groove and carving and skinning is really nice, so you really can do some stuff with that. Uh, but the, like I said, the, and I took a piece off this, but the sheath is crummy. Compared to that original Kydex sheath, the sheath is crummy. Now I ordered a, uh, a custom Kydex sheath for this, and I'll, I'll review that at another time when it gets in. Um, and I have put it on my, um, uh, my vest, my plate carrier. But I, I do like uh, Do It Right's. Uh, kind of his U.S. Marine K-Bar fighting knife, uh, in some ways better than this for a vest, um, just because it's thinner and easier to put on. It's good, good for stabbing. This thing is, is more like my outdoors survival knife. But, I mean, you just got to love it. They call it the pancake flipper. Look at that. It's just so fat. Um, you got to love it. Just go through some of the specs here. Um, so it's a little over a pound. Um, they changed the steel. I don't think it's as good as steel as the made in USA. It's SK5 steel. If you know exactly what that is, let me know. It's got a 6.75 inch blade. Uh, the handle is TPR material, so the handle is a little bit different than the original one. Um, and like I said, no butt cap or hand guard. 
and it's got the crummy sheath. But what is awesome about this knife is the price went way down. You can get the updated K-Bar Warthog Heavy Duty for like $57 on Amazon, which is way cheaper than what I bought it for in 2002, the original one. Um, you know, I don't know because this doesn't come with a Kydex sheath or what, but man, the price went way down. So, I mean, I'd like to order another one. You can't really go wrong. The only complaint besides not having the handguard that I have with the K-Bar is just like the original one, uh, it's really thick up on top, but it gets way too thin uh, on the blade edge down here. And for chopping, um, it's, it's not going to hold up. And so that's why I cracked it, even though it took me 12 years of hacking through trees and bone to finally crack that blade. You know, it's, it's made for cutting, not hacking. But it is kind of like a big, heavy, machete-type knife. Um, so that's the only complaint. Just there's, there's, it gets so thin that it does get weaker and brittle right down there um, on some of these cutting edges. But you know, you really shouldn't be smashing it down on stuff like I did. And and this thing has held up. I think I'll continue to chop through uh, caribou with it. This thing, if you look closely, you see it's still encrusted with blood. I got a little bit of rust on some parts, but you still see blood um, in there. And maybe it's just rust. But anyways, I've chopped through probably three caribou carcasses with this. And, uh, well, no, I started using a hacksaw. So, but it's gone through a couple caribous and it's chopped a couple bear heads off. I chopped a brown bear head, <laughs> this brown bear, and this black bear um, head off. I didn't, I didn't use it on the last black bear I got that, I brought the hacksaw for that. But I, I chopped a bear's head off with this K-Bar knife. How many people can say that they've chopped a bear's head off with their K-Bar knife? Um, so anyways, that's my barbarian Alaskan style of field dressing. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, for $57, I, I think you can't go wrong with, with just having a big knife like this. I'm, I'm a fan. I like the K-Bar. Not as good as the original Made in America, but I still like it. Um, so, K-Bar, if you're listening, please put the handguard back on here and uh, a Kydex sheath. So, let me know what you guys think. i uh, got some more videos coming up and I'm starting to do more live streaming. I'll probably have a live stream out tomorrow. Uh, please like and subscribe and do more things with uh, the Alaska YouTube guys. Do it right. Hammer Heart Outdoors and Chuck with Alaska Ballistics. Hammer Heart went out uh, caribou hunting uh, this last weekend and uh, he, he, didn't, he didn't get anything so I'm going out this next weekend and uh, you know may, maybe the temperatures will change maybe the herd will come around but it's not looking good but anything could happen in seven days so keep watching guys thanks it's Chuk your friend the field <laughs>